there welcome to my new tutorial of google analytics 4 in nancy commerce tracking i'm rahul mondal expert in google analytics 4 tracking from browser set and server side facebook api conversion google ads conversion tracking linkedin tracking so if you're looking for all of the service army will set up everything very accurately perfectly using google tag manager which is in standard way to track your e-commerce or any website so uh let's get started today's video i will show you how to track view card event how to track view card event so for that let's come to your google tag manager and connect to the debug mode and go to your website and click on any product then click on add to cart after that you will see this view card and so click on the view card and you will get the view card event here if the data layer is enabled on your website otherwise it you will not get the view card you can see i have got the view card event and you will see this this is the view card event name so you can see under items you will see this uh, one two three four products you can see here there are four products and the total value of this 355 and you can see the value here also the value is 355 so uh, this is a recommended event so I will track uh, this view card event this is a recommended event and uh, I have to send this currency value and items according to Google and to GA4 according to GA4 so uh, let's create a tag for it and go to tag and click on new let's create a tag for view card click on tag configuration this is an event select and go and is for gf for event and select the configuration tag and paste the event name uh, as this is a recommended event so you have to paste this you have to copy exactly this and paste it here otherwise it will not the goal at is for will not receive the data event parameter i will send three event parameters which uh, is recommended make sure uh, this you can just copy paste from here uh, currency value items so I'm typing value and then items in the previous video I have already uh, created a currency uh, this is in currency DLP commerce currency and for view card value uh, you can see I have uh, created view card value already I am showing you the data layer variable e-commerce dot value you have to paste it here if the data layer is according to GF schema e-commerce dot value if you see the data layer here uh, this value is under e-commerce so you have to uh, copy this uh, like e-commerce dot value so now just select this uh bigger value and now i will select the items dlv e-commerce items so i have added these three parameter name and value and then trigger click on trigger and click new trigger j4 bigger trigger click on trigger configuration and scroll down select custom event as it's custom event so go here in the debug mode and copy it from here and just go to the google tag manage and paste it here and now set this so everything has been configured for view card view card event so now save this and i will check whether this is working or not so click on the preview mode Click on the PV mode. Uh, I can check from here. <coughs> mm. 
Google Tag GTM not found it is showing because the container is not loaded yet. Wait, let it be loaded. Everything will appear here. You can see everything is appearing. Now select any product and see whether this uh, the variable is working or not and whether the tag is firing or not I'll show you that click on view card The total value is uh, 415 so come here and click on view card you can see the view card tag has been fired succeed and uh, let's see uh, the data let's just click on variable and you can see dlb commerce currency currency is gst and uh, you can see view card value view card value is uh, 415 just go here and you can check here 415 dollar and value currency and items will be commerce items so everything is working properly so thank you so much for watching my video i will come up with an, another tutorial so thank you